Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to come on and do a vibe because I'm having such a good hair day. Just kidding. <laughs> no, clearly, clearly not, right? It's like, I'm gonna come on and talk about cortisol and stress and how it impacts weight loss resistance and insulin resistance specifically, um, and really the mechanism that this happens. I've had this conversation a lot recently, and this is just more information for you guys to get in terms of, um, Oh, hi, Murray. Murray decided to come down here and he brought a shoe. Nope, take it upstairs, buddy. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, I know. Oh, you're going to bring it to me? Thank you. Th come here. If you're going to bring me the shoe, bring it to me. Don't just... No, he's showing it off now. That's what he's doing. You want praise for bringing me the shoe. Come here. Come here. This is Murray. He's a good boy. Oh, yes, he is. He's like, Mom, I dropped my shoe. No one we're supposed to do. I'm supposed to go get it. Go get it. Okay, bring it upstairs. Oh. That's gross. Okay. Anyway, back to cortisol. <laughs> back to cortisol and, uh, and everything. Yes, why I'm doing this. I wanted to give you guys some very specific information on um, how human physiology works. And again, I work with women. So female physiology, remember that the female body reacts even stronger sometimes to stressors, to cortisol response, because our systems are going to fat storage way faster than the male body, right? And it can be that much harder to burn fat, to burn calories, right? When you're doing these things, or I see these things all the time where people are like, oh yeah, you don't need to, you know, this or that, or you don't need to whatever. And I'm like, oh my God, it's all about the calories. Oh my God, it is not all about the calories because you can be doing calorically because it's math, right? Everybody can add and subtract the calories for the day. And if you're like, this isn't working, what's not working? <laughs> it can be uh, some of these things. These are the things that we look at. These are the things that we work on. Um, I, I'm going to put a link for the 12 week challenge down here. Um, I, we might be full. Um, but I'm just going to put it here for you guys. If in case you're watching the replay of this or watching this on YouTube or something. So my YouTube is Dr. Beth Westy. Um, you know, the 12 week challenge is where we address all this for everybody. We go through a Dutch test, which is your, um, complete hormone panel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It gets sent to your house. It's so wonderful. But we talk about a lot of these factors, um, going into this because this all matters. It's not a matter of calories and math. Like if it was just the math, we would all be the exact weight we want to be all the time, right? Yeah, because you're like, yeah, I can count. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. It's not about that. Why, what is it about? It is about how your system responds to these things. It is about how your system reacts. And for women, our bodies react in a bigger way to stress. And when that stress doesn't get a break from our bodies, when you are under stress for a long period of time, when you are under stress daily, weekly, for a month. I want, I want you to think about this. How long have you felt just kind of like, <sighs> or in the past six months even, how many days have you felt like, yeah, I've been like relaxed for weeks now? No, you might've had one day where you were like, okay, I need to de-stress. And then it was less than other days. Yeah, your system's gonna go through this whole response amplified amplified because it is a protective method. And this is how the hormones work in the body. Again, this is why in the Dutch test, we test your cortisol levels, your adrenals, all these other things. Yes. Um, 12 months to reverse stress response and reverse weight gain. Yeah, Debbie. Yeah. It's, yeah. It can take a long time, right? It can take a long time to work with the body. And the thing that we get so frustrated with is that it's not happening right now or in the process of trying to lose 10 pounds, you get completely exhausted and do things that you cannot sustain. That's not healthy for the body, right? That's not something you can continue to live with. The purpose of like losing weight isn't to like see a specific number on the scale. It's to live in your healthiest body so you can do and be the things that you want to do. That's my favorite. I just talked to somebody the other day and she was like, Oh my gosh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I am quitting this job that I hate because it's so much stress for me. 
and I'm starting and I'm diving into this whole other business that I've been dabbling in but haven't done because I wasn't sure that my health could take it. That the stress that goes along with my side business that I've been running, I, I there's no way I could handle that along with, you know, all the other things, right? She's like, so I've just been, you know, keeping my corporate job. She's like, which is fine. You know, it's not bad. I just, I just didn't think I could do it. And she's like, but now with how good I feel and how good I have felt. And now that I know I can control my health here, I'm going to do it. I was so pumped, so pumped for her. So pumped for her. I have another gal. Oh my gosh. So excited. She's like, you know, launching a book, podcast, all these things. I was like, this is amazing stuff that people, look, I'm getting so excited. I'm using my crazy fingers. <laughs> so excited about all these things. But it's because women feel better. When you feel better, you function better. Like you get to do these things. That's what's exciting. And you'll notice this from like all the stuff I put out. It is just not my style to like bikini pictures and all this stuff. I mean, great, great. And, and that can be like a motivator, but there's nothing about that that's really like you know what I mean? Right? Yeah. Like, what do you, what do you, what do you want the energy for? What do you want to feel better for? You want to be in your healthiest body. And when we are stressed and when we have an increased level of cortisol and a bad cortisol response, uh, that's where it gets really hard on our systems to be and do and have the things that we want to have in life. Right? This is, this is the time on earth when we get to do this. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's talk about it. Okay. I'm getting like really pumped over here just talking about this stuff. Um, okay, so increase in stress, right? Cortisol response in the, in the system. Now remember the female body, it has this extra protection of like, okay, we're gonna suss out any potential stressors. We're gonna think about past events. We're gonna turn this mechanism on super fast and make sure it stays on as long as we need. Uh, and you're like, no, thank you, but it does, mm, but it does. Brain. Right? Decreases of growth hormone secretion, right? So growth hormone is really helpful for metabolism, for repair, all that other stuff. There's other other factors on the brain, right? Like, anybody, brain fog when you are stressed out, right? Mm -hmm, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of other things, but I just wanted to speak to the metabolism piece of this on this to start. If you want me to do another video deep dive on any of these things, let me know. I absolutely can. Um, you can put, a, you know, questions or comments below. Um, more than happy to do that. Muscle tissue response. Huh. Some great things happening here with your muscle tissue when it increases in cortisol. Decrease in muscle mass overall. You also decrease in new protein synthesis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, decrease in glucose uptake and decrease in glycogen synthesis. Oh my gosh. You. Now I have this one. Now I have Gear Bear. Look, he just moved my camera. Little Gear Bears. Little Gear Bears. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, take this one. Yes, there you go. There you go. Just running amok over here. Puppies everywhere. Oh no. <laughs> They're so funny. Decreased gl uh, glucose uptake and decreased glycogen synthesis. So when you eat um, carbs, things like that, again, the human body, the female body needs carbs. We can talk about amounts and things like that another day, but it does need them. So it, your muscles though, your muscle tissues do store some of those glycogens for your, for active activity, for use, all that other stuff. So if you are under stress, your muscles don't get to use that. So if you've ever been really stressed and just felt physically fatigued, like the laundry basket feels heavier, the groceries feel heavier. I'm having a heart, like you just feel physically exhausted. It's not in your head. You're not making it up. Your muscles don't have the fuel, like they don't have the gas in the tank to do the things that they normally do. And then it increases protein metabolism, which means breakdown. <laughs> what? Yeah, that means all the muscles that you work so hard at toning and firming and everything, they just get broken down. Yeah. <clears throat> Why? Why? Why would they do that? Why would that happen? Mm, energy source. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we'll talk about that here. Because you're not burning adipose, you're going to be burning muscle faster way of uh, energy burn here for the body when it's under stress, especially for women. Oh yeah. Liver. Oh, liver's important. I mean, if I'm under stress, it can impact my liver. Yes. Same thing. Glycogen synthesis. So same thing up here. Your liver also stores glycogens, which means, which means if you have been under stress for a long period of time, 
your liver is not storing energy like it should, which means it has a hard time doing the job that it should. What's your liver do? What does your liver do? Detoxifier. It is the main detoxifier in your body. So this is why sometimes women need help detoxifying because your liver, the thing that's supposed to do it, doesn't have it. And then it directly rel relates also with liver to increasing insulin resistance. <sighs> what? what does that mean? It means your blood sugar levels are terrible and your body cannot utilize energy properly. Essentially making you gain weight and then you can't lose it. Adipose tissue, so fat cells, increases visceral fat specifically. <laughs> Abdomen, Abdomen, belly fat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> isn't that fun? Isn't it fun that it's just like right there listed right there for you? Uh. An increase in inflammation. Yeah, we all know about inflammation. I, I should do a video talking directly about inflammation because this is just <clears throat> terrible. It also impacts your gut, gut health, um, gut motility, mobility, all these other things. I could do a whole video on this alone. Um, your bone, your bone health, how well your bones regenerate and everything else. Pancreas, like, and, and, and more, right? It's every system in the body that stress impacts. But all in all, when you look at these main organs here and these main systems in the body, these are the things specifically that lead to this weight loss resistance and insulin resistance. So if you're thinking like, gosh, I should just get over it. I should just let it go. Or I don't think that there's that much stress in my life. I don't know, check some of these things. If you're like, oh my gosh, I haven't been able to build muscle like I normally do. And yeah, I have been wondering about my insulin things and yeah, I'm definitely getting belly fat. Mm. Even if you think you're handling the stress, your physical body is reacting to it. That's the hard thing. That's the hard thing. So again, this is why we do Dutch test. This is why we look at these levels because I need to know how your system is responding. And if it's not responding well, we got to change this. Sometimes it's supplements. A lot of times nutritional shifts can impact how your body's functioning here and help your body battle the cortisol. It, you know, yes, we do things like, um, I love adaptogens. That's really helpful to bring down the, the stress response in your system to bring down those cortisols. Yes. But also, also it's really important that we fuel your body to make sure that it has a good response here. Because you can do all the meditations and you can take all the great herbs, but if you're not fueling with the right nutrients, which is you know things that we do in the 12-week challenge, you're not gonna be able to help these tissues, your brain, your muscle tissue, liver, adipose tissue, gut, all of them, to actually react to these effects in a positive way to help with the cortisol. Seems like a lot of work, doesn't it? Anybody getting stressed just looking at this list? <laughs> Good thing is, is that it's, it's easy, it's simple, and you should not be depleting yourself, depriving your body of anything. It's all about fueling, working with your system to get to and keep the best results and the healthiest body for you. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Let me know if you have questions on this. Let me know if you want me to do a deep dive or talk more about muscle or adipose or liver or something. More than happy to. I love talking about cells. <sighs> I don't know if I've said this before. This video is getting long, but I'm still going to share this. I, I was at, I think it was a bridal shower. My sisters were there. Both of my sisters. I have an older sister and a younger sister. And somebody asked me, okay? They asked me, like, what was, why were babies fat? Like, why are babies fat? Babies are, like, so fat and cute. Like, why are they fat? And I was like, oh, because of brown fat and other types of fat and baby bodies store fat and it's necessary for survival and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, and adults have different types of fat, right? You have um, subcutaneous fat and visceral fat and blah, blah, blah. And my sister came up to me and she grabbed my arm and she was like, what are you doing? Stop talking about fat cells at a bridal shower. Oh, and I was like, she asked me, I love talking about this stuff. This was like years ago, but still. <laughs> so if you, if you ask me about things, I would love to talk about them. Because apparently you can't take me anywhere. Like a bridal shower. So, anyway. Um, yeah, that's what I got for you guys tonight. 
other resources I have for you. My book's The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon, all about nutrition that matches the hormones and the cycle the eat for your cycle method. And then The Female Menopause Solution, all about nutrition for women in perimenopause and menopause because the body changes. Got to change things to keep up with it. Super fun. Um, and then my podcast is called The Female Health Solution, and I have a lot of great episodes um, out and coming out. Some really exciting ones I'm really excited about, yes. So let me know if you guys have questions. Let me know if you need guidance, help, anything else. I'm more than happy um, to assist. Otherwise, have a great night, and I will see you later.